Hello friends, you are watching Arudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Hello friends, today we will show a very simple engineering mechanics problem using ANSYS mechanical epidural. The problem is, it is a beam subjected to a concentrated load of 15 kilo newton and which is fixed at the left side and right hand side is supported on a wheel we have to find out shear force and bending moment diagram using ANSYS mechanical epidural right so let's get started ANSYS mechanical epidural started already we have to start from preferences it is a structural analysis so structural okay then preprocessor element type add edit delete nothing is defined so you have to add it Let's take the beam element and we'll take two node 188. Okay, close it. Next part we have to apply material properties. Material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. This having modulus of elasticity equal to 2E5 and Poisson's ratio 0 0.3. Okay close it next one you have to apply that cross section areas it will come from sections beam common sections we are taking a cross section area of 200 by 300 millimeter square 200 by 300 okay done next one you have to model this one modeling create key points in active coordinate system Let's see the drawing again. So we have to create three different key points at 0, 0, one at 3000 millimeter and another at 5000 millimeter. Okay, let's draw it. So first one at 0, 0 we are applying. Second one will be at 3000 millimeter away. Applied. And third one or the last one will be 5000 millimeter away. Okay, so we have created three different key points that to be connected in the form of a line so lines straight lines we connect these lines okay lines are done next one we have to mesh these lines meshing size controls manual size lines all lines now let's divide the elements into 30 numbers of divisions. Or we can divide 30 to 60 numbers. Let's divide into 60 numbers of divisions. Okay. Then mesh it. Mesh. Lines. We can select by box. Okay, meshing is done. Right, you can see the lines. Plot, lines, these are the lines, right? Okay, next part we have to apply loads. Loads, analysis type, new analysis, it is a static structural analysis. Now we have to define loads. Apply structural displacement on key points. Now here it is very important thing is like these two ends should be fixed. So in x, y, z all direction this will be fixed but rotation it is allowed to rotate in z direction only. So rotation x and y it is zero displacement and rotation zero we are not applying it will be by default it will be zero that is it is supposed to have only the rotation in z direction only okay is applied next one we have to apply load at this position 15 kilo newton is applied okay so force moment on key points select that key point so while selecting better to select the key points only plot key points ok 
can apply load on this point only, right? Okay. How much it will be? It will be 15,000 Newton. It will be in the X direction, F, Y. And as it is in down direction, it will be minus 15,000. Load is applied. Now to solve it. Solution. Solve. Current LS. If everything is right, it will show solution is done. Solution is done. So perfect. We'll get our results right now. We'll show it from general force processing. Right. First of all, you have to create that element table. Define table. Nothing is defined, so we have to add it. If you want to see stress, that we can that stress is extra. Our aim is to find shear force and bending moment diagram together with that we will see stress also stress by sequence number ls and element property number is one stress is done next what you see bending moment shear force diagram add we can add down bmd by sequence number it will be smic three apply again BMD by sequence number so it will be 16 apply now shear force diagram SFD by sequence number SMIC will be 6 apply again SFD by sequence number SMIC it will be 19 okay outdate close it now we want to see those results right so results can be seen from plot results deform shape deform plus arm deform going to see this is the result right you can see this is 2d format you can see in the 3d format also how to see that plot controls style size and shape and display of element should be on now you can see in the 3d format so this white one is the original drawing and the blue one is the change drawing by the application of force you can see the animation of this one also but controls animate deform results okay it is showing the animation Let's stop it and close it. If you see it better, we can see in this way also. It is a better one, right? Okay, next one we see other results. Let's go back to the initial position again. I want to see the results like control plot, line element response. You want to see SMIS 3 and 16 that will be providing our bending moment diagram okay so this is the bending moment diagram and it is showing maximum bending moment diagram is the red position that is equal to 0 0.17 to the power 8 Newton meter right we can save this part but controls capture image file save as in the desktop we can save it in the name as BMD next one we will see shear force diagram so elemental response we will see this will be 6 and 19 SMS 6 and SMS 19 okay you can see the minimum shear force is 6000 newton and maximum is 9000 newton we can validate this one with the theoretical answer also right we'll show this one now first of all we we'll save this part that controls capture image file save as sfd save it now we want to see stress also right for seeing the stress, we can see plot results, 
elemental table ls1 okay stress issuing maximum stress is equal to 8.925 pascal right now we can validate our results what we got before let's see the results theoretical results we got as like shear force diagram maximum is 9000 newton and minimum is 6000 newton similarly bending moment diagram we can see 18 kilo newton meter right it is same what we did before you can see our results bending moment diagram it is our drawing says it was 0.178 it is newton millimeter so if you convert this one into kilo newton meter it will be the same what we got in your uh, what theoretical results it is 0.17 newton millimeter that is bending moment diagram and if we see our shear force diagram what it is shear force diagram it is showing that 9000 newton that is you know theoretical we are having 9 kilo newton and minimum we are having here it is 6000 that is 6000 newton and in our theoretical level it is 6 kilo newton so it is validated with theoretical and little bit of change in case of this ANSYS results because in ANSYS results what we are finding is we are trying to get towards the actual results better the discretization or better the meshing will get better results right so this is all about our today's analysis of shear force and bending moment diagram using ANSYS mechanical epidural thank you so much for watching this video if you like please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye